Next up, and setting the scene for the massed aircraft formations that would follow later in the day, eight de Havilland chipmunks made a series of formation flybys to warm up the growing crowd. Designed in 1946, the chipmunk was intended to replace the aging tiger moth, which had been used to train Commonwealth pilots since 1931. At that time, de Havilland in the UK were heavily committed to designing the Comet, their first jet airliner, and so the company asked their Canadian division to design and initially build the new trainer. The type was so successful that later the UK parent company also built a number of the aircraft, these being distinguished from the Canadian bubble canopy models by their standard straight-sided cockpit canopies. Eventually 217 chipmunks were built for the Royal Canadian Air Force, while another 735 were built for the RAF, who continued to use the machine well into the 1990s. While the chipmunk was used extensively by many nations as a basic trainer, the type's longevity can in part be attributed to the fact that it was fully aerobatic as well. In California's Mojave Desert, the National Test Pilot School operates a chipmunk specifically for demonstrating spin recovery techniques to its pilots. Once again, Classic Fighters was pleased to welcome Ralph Sachs to the show as he put one of the chipmunks through its paces and demonstrated that the type really is a superb performer. That was a very sweet three-point landing. Just beautiful. He's obviously really enjoying himself.